time. Tracks are in the house with drives. Yes, We're in the garage, man. <laughs> he got evicted. <laughs> Even though he doesn't want to say that. We changed location. We changed location. <laughs> we'll call it change location. All right, guys. What are we going to talk about? We got a spotlight Dude, today. Shai's got a spotlight. The mixtape, okay. alternative music from the late 70s. Guys, um, I got this on eBay. Really, really awesome box set. It has a bunch of bands from the alternative 80s and uh, 70s. Alternative yeah. pop music. Uh, uh, more like punk new wave. Uh, punk especially new wave. Uh, CD number three. Which is what I'm gonna play for you tonight. Yeah, it's I want three, someone there. There's three CDs on that shit. Yeah. It's, very, it's thick. It's, it's, thick. it's a really great box set for all you 80s fans, for all you uh, new wave punk, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna do Devo. Devo? Wait, uh, Whip It Good? You guys remember? Oh, Whip yeah. It? Whip It Good? That was a big hit. Uh, great band live. Uh, one of the guys already passed away, but they're still touring. Um, but it's it's awesome, awesome band. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna do a different song today. Uh, satisfaction. Uh, no satisfaction. I can't get. I can't get no satisfaction. I can't get. That's. I don't know if it's the covering the Rolling Stones because they had. This a, is in the late '70s. Yeah, that's the late. This is the early Devo stuff. A lot of the it's early. Yeah, a lot of the early Devo stuff. As a matter of fact, they have some videos out, and it's for some some of us. It might be like weird and strange because that's what. You know, they were it's little, the guys with the fucking yeah. weird Lego hats. Yeah, the hats. Yeah, and they're, uh, they're infamous for that. Yeah, and the, some of their stuff was funny at the same time. If you really paid attention to it, the lyrics, it was, you know. And right. the videos are real funny sometimes. There's a, they actually have a video for this one, too, for Satisfaction. It's a pretty good video. What, what is the song about? Uh, I'm not sure the cover. Like the sexually, Rolling Stones. like satisfaction. When you say satisfaction, it sounds like no, sexual. Not, not necessarily. Not, not, not always is the case, even though it seems like that's our world now. But no, that's, uh, I think just in, in life in general. They're yeah. on Virgin yeah. Records. Uh, they used to be. They used to be. Uh, from England, that's probably where that came from. You know, yeah, the, guy, the guy's England, the owner. The, from, uh, the Virgin, yeah, Virgin, okay. yeah, Virgin Records, yeah, he was, he was a British guy. Millen. But Devo, I think it's a U.S. band. They're, U, US. they're a U.S. band. That's one of the U.S. bands that made it during the New Wave Punk era that were from the U.S. I think Cars are also from the U.S. Uh, Berlin. Uh, I'm They're, not familiar with the names, but I probably yeah, know the music. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've heard this. They, they've been played all over the place. Yeah. So, any questions before we start the song? I, I'm, I'm not sure. I have to listen to the Rolling Stones uh, Satisfaction song. I'm not sure if it's a take on that. Or like, like a, a cover? or, or a Yeah, like a cover. On, a spin-off, like, yo, we... Or Eric, uh, or maybe this is just the wrong. I have... I, I'm... I haven't done the research on that. If this is a cover, oh, it is because it says Mick Jagger in the credits. Oh, there and it is. Keith Richards. So, yeah, you know, covers are, um, you know, we know, you know how we talk about yeah, covers. Yeah, them motherfuckers is old as yeah. shit. They still touring, oh, getting yes. Uh, one of the bands that I give a lot of respect to because think of how many years this guy's been together. The original members and they're still playing. I think they're really I think collaborated. That's, that's to the, the music. beauty of rock and roll or. Pop music, like in hip hop, when you turn forty, they want to kick you out. <laughs> yeah, those so, guys are still going. These guys uh, still they're touring, I think. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I think Rolling Stones, like yeah, a month ago. Yeah. This is two thousand twenty-one. Yeah. But in, no. uh, a lot of music history from those guys. I really, uh, I think they've done a lot to the music. They do industry. timeless music. Yeah, I I think so. They they've yeah. done so much. Uh, uh, so, but this is a cover. Thank you for verifying that. Yeah, it's a, yeah. <laughs> I was I wasn't sure. I knew I knew I heard Mick Jagger. Uh, the lyrics uh, overall, the song is a little different. Uh, but it's a good song. Some people have heard it. Uh, it's a good cover. No, I, I think. think it's a cover cover because they don't yeah. even have Devo's credits. Yeah, no, it's 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 a it's a cover. And it says yeah. produced by Brian Eno. Brian Eno, yeah, that's another artist, okay, you know, from, uh, from that era, from late 70s yeah. punk and all that good okay. stuff, and, you know, he's been around. Yeah. Brian okay. Eno's a big name in music. Okay. Um, you ready to, uh, any, anything before we nah, play, play it? Play that shit. Here we go, guys, so check it out and see what you think. <laughs> Thank you. 
because I'm I'm comparing to the the original Rolling Stones, right? Do you remember it? Yeah, no, not not that I hear this song. I remember Mick Jagger's version. Yeah, yeah. Can't get. Um, I like the, the music. The sounds is different a little bit. Everything, I think, yeah, this, okay. the music especially. Like the only thing that yeah. I think they took was the lyrics, right? Pretty much. And the yeah, they, they gave it a different twist to it. They gave it the Devo sound to yeah, it. Yeah, the Devo sound. Especially during that time, it was very experimental. It was just everything when did, went. When did um, Mick Jagger's joint came out? God, I don't recall. Let me look. Let me see if we have that info here, because I don't. I don't uh, remember. It's, it's 70s. I'm pretty sure. But this one's late 70s. Yeah, this is late. So it's maybe mid to early 70s. Usually, when people cover, it's usually mm -hmm. like a classic. Maybe. Yeah. This was already a radio. Hit. Like, is it a thing in that genre to take something that's already popping and do a cover? When in the 70s or in the 80s? No, in that genre. Like, for and example, like punk? if hip hop does a cover, uh huh. Did you? To me, it's usually got to be like a big, big song or yeah. a song that's a classic. Was it already a classic by the time they did it? I'm pretty sure it must yeah, have been definitely. because it was a hit. I yeah. mean, that was a hit for for uh, for Rolling I don't, Stones. I don't, I don't really like covers, but yeah. What do you think of this one? Because it's like a, it's like we've done we talked about covers before, and it's yeah. it's it's one of those. Either you ruin the song, or you, or you, you make it different. You make it different, or, uh, or some and sometimes, very rarely. Um, I, I, I hate to say this, but there's times when I like the covers more than the original, you know, depending yeah, on how it's fair. done, that's you know. Um, but there's been a lot of covers, uh, even from... There's been covers that where I'm like, oh, that's the original, mm -hmm. but I didn't know the original. Yeah. Especially in... I, I think a lot of bands have done covers. Uh, covers is it, it risky. It is. It is because what it is is a lot of people. What what happens with covers is people compare it to the original. Yeah. If they never heard it before, um, or or it's been so long where yeah. it's like you make it modern. Or it can, what happens is maybe people will like the new version, like for example in this case, and they never knew that there was it was a cover. Mm -hmm. So then when they hear the original, they go, "Oh, okay, well that's what it came from," or maybe they don't like the original as much yeah. as the cover. So it, it, it's kind of give <laughs> give me tribute. It is. Normally a cover is Give because, tribute. yeah, and a lot of times it, some, a lot of times these bands influence the band that's doing the cover, and that's the reason they're covering it, yeah, usually. Right. Rolling Stone's been, oh yeah, I don't know how long, but they've been... 60, late 60s, so yeah, we're talking... I think Rolling Stone was oh. around when Motown was coming up. Yeah. It, like, it they're was, breaking in. They were during the Beatles era and all that. It was, it okay, was during that time, time so... Yeah. We're talking a lot of years. We're talking. I mean, no, yeah. It's what almost forty years from the eighties. I don't know the math. We're talking like, about 50, yeah. 50, 50 years ago, fifty, sixty years ago now. And props to them because they're doing it. Yeah. Devo too. Still. still doing it. Okay. Well, yeah, Devo still does this when they play live. Um, Devo has not that I know of. Uh, has not released anything new recently that I know of. But, no, but like if you got a a, a belt of together. classics and they got they got. Well, yeah, they'll play this. They'll play this in their concerts. Yeah. Some, if usually. you got a forty-five minute set of music, then yeah. you could tour yeah. the rest of your life. And the videos, the videos, really good for the okay. song. I, I, I highly recommend it. Look it up on YouTube. It's a really good video. Yeah, I love videos too. Yeah. Do you like the music? What do you think? I, I was comparing it to the first one, so but okay. it was a little different because I could hear like what, well, like uh, the, the guitar, bell. I don't think the they bass. had a bell. Yeah, the yeah. bass. A lot, bass was very good. Long, uh, like you could hear it. The mixing. Show love to the base. Yeah. Sometimes it's, that's not the case. Yeah. Like, I no, we're not gonna get into mixing. We're not gonna get into <laughs> that shit. But a lot of that, sh a lot of the reason why an album, I mean, a song comes out to be because of mixing, producing. Like, well, sure. There's steps to that shit, but sure. we're not gonna talk about it. That's too much. Well, it's good production work. Yeah, and, 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 and but I mean, not just that. You got. Mixing, like yes, yeah. mix, mixing is the last. I think no, mastering is the last step. But mixing yeah. is where you get your levels right and all that yeah. shit. And if then the dude that mixed it, you could tell the bass is that. This guy was into recording, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> but it's very good though. I like that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you for that info. Yeah. That's very important, you know. But that's it's like when you bake a cake, man. Is there is there like <laughs> famous mixers? That you don't know, huh? They ain't show well, up. Well, I mean, uh, that was the producer. Or producers that mix that. their own shit. Uh, not uh, that I recall. I think most albums, a lot of credit goes to the producer. 
because no, the mixer, yeah. the guy who's at the at the mixing board, uh, he the guy at the mixing board is fucking bringing it to life. Yeah, he they already the producer already told. Well, like when it comes to bands, he was like, "Yo, give me a a twelve count, give me a riff or whatever." Yeah, yeah. that's basically a producer. But then job. the producer also double checks the the final. Right, the True. finding master. Yeah, in some, in some he cases, pretty much yeah. works through the whole process yeah. until you get the, the. And the, the master is just making sure that everyone in that circle, circle did the job right. Yes, yes, but really like the band. Uh, all you guys that know Devo, uh, you know what I'm talking about. A great band to see live. If you ever have a chance, definitely check them out live. Uh, I think they are touring. Um, just wanted to give you a different spin on, on some of the music from covers the, on the cover. And, and yeah, and also on the cover at the same time. We've had done shows on covers too before. So yeah. anything you want to add? Comment, shout out to, yeah. we, let's give him another shout out. You to Kalina? Kalina, <laughs> Jay Kalina. Jay, Teddy, uh, Teddy, Teddy Hart. Jay Kalina, Teddy Hart. Um, all the Kaka, Evo fans. Kaka. Oh, okay, yeah, Kaka's going to be back one of these days. Yeah, he'll be here soon. <laughs> He shout out to been... Joe West Coast. Oh, shout West Coast, brother. West Coast. How you doing? Hey, keep Coolest. up the good work. Coolest Check out his uh, website. Oh, yeah, his, his shows. channel. His channel, Joe West he's, Coast. He's doing toys now, not yeah, music. Yeah. Well, he'll do music. He'll probably invite him again. No, he's... I mean on his channel, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, maybe we'll go visit him. We'll do one. Vintage music. toys. Yeah, he's got some music going on on his edge. So he has, he has some music background. Oh, okay, I, I guess yeah. uh, We could probably do one show with him one time. No, we got it because he'll yeah, yeah. do some yeah. classics. Yeah, definitely. He could go on for hours about yeah. it, just the song. <laughs> definitely. Well, Joe West Coast, hey, hi again. We'll probably have to catch up with you and uh, meet up sometime. Yeah, yeah. no, he, he, he yeah. we could pick him up. <laughs> well, well, we'll pick you up, brother. <laughs> Charles will pick you up. I pick you up. <laughs> or we'll go to your place. So, you know, oh, yeah, we'll house a, call. We do house calls. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not we're watching it because of COVID, yeah. but we're surviving, man. All you survivors and... Also, in memory of all those people that we lost, you know, you know, we have them all in our hearts. Yeah. So, other than that, we good. We'll sign out, take care, and we'll see you next time from Shyster and Tries. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>